I said he goes to the gynecologist with his daughter every year to check her hymen. A statement which has since earned him serious backlash on social media. His controversial comments were in response to a question about whether he had um, the sex talk with his daughter. He said, and I quote, not only have we had a conversation, we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her hymen. Um, he also went further to explain the process and the conversation between him and the doctors. So this practice of virginity testing was condemned by the World Health Organization UN um, Human Rights and UN um, Women in 2008 when the organizations issued a statement demanding the elimination of the practice who stated the practice has no scientific or clinical basis and it's a violation of human rights adding that it can be detrimental to the women or girls well-being so um, a lot of people have said what they think and where they stand with the law with human feelings and all that. I don't know if I, what do you think? No, I'd like to get your takes as ladies first because um, you guys are like the ones concerned. It's a woman you're talking about. So I'd like to get your takes before I talk. Okay, yeah, well, go okay. Ahead. first for me, I have two problems mm -hmm. with that because <clears throat> first, I have a problem with um, in telling, I mean, even if you're doing it, mm -hmm. telling the old world is just, for me, is a shade of wrong. First, wait, first. No, I get what you're saying, but yeah. Tia is just so open. He talks about everything. Just don't ask him. I'm just, no, okay, <laughs> what do you ask him? him? This, this, is not about, this is not about him. It's mm -hmm. about his daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's still, she's just 18, and she has, like, a lot of things that she's still going to get involved with. Right now, she might still be feeling like, oh, that is trying to protect me. I get that. I mean, it deserves an... Um, Honorable award for trying to protect his daughter. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But how you do it is what really matters. I mean, this. What if he affects her in any way or all of that? And then the sorry, other. Sorry to cut you. I don't even think she's fine with it because you know how bloggers can snoop. Mm -hmm. He said she's liking every um, um, comment on condemning it. condemning the act. So. That means she's, she's not. She has not tweeted anything, but she's liking them. You know, you know. And now it's it's another thing because it's somebody that has. Um, I mean, this is just set, it's just trying to show that our society really has this issue of double standard when it comes to male and female. He has a 15 year old son that is sexually active, sleeping with other teenagers, but you are here trying to protect your daughter, and you don't have a problem with your 15 year old son being sexually active mm -hmm. but you have a problem with your 18 year old daughter being sexually active i think that's where i my own problem is right now how you want to parent your child is your business but then you putting it out there like not um you don't have a problem with your son doing whatever he wants but you have a problem with your daughter doing what she wants is her body she has a right to do anything she wants to do with her body i mean she's above 18. Mm. that's that's my that's she my own main thing actually but yeah, she's 18. Uh, that, that's my own main problem with this issue, like the double standard thing. If you, don't, if you want to have a problem with your kids having sex, that's okay. But you can't tell me you don't have a problem with your son having sex, but you have serious problem with your daughter. I mean, your son is sleeping with other people's daughter that are teenagers. Okay, if I... No, your take. Okay, so for me, I think that... Um... As much as everybody has an opinion on this, I feel like it's a personal decision for them first. And then mm. secondly, I also do not think that this is the best way to parent, especially in this day and age, because mm. there are different perverse ways of intimacy without even touching the hymen. Right. So it's possible that she's very active in other ways, and you ju all you need is for the hymen to be intact, right? She can do a whole lot, and the hymen will still be intact. What if the hymen and even gets um, broken? But it's not sexually. Oh, yeah. Or he that, also mentioned that the doctors mentioned that it could get broken from um, by horse riding, riding, and bike riding. And he says, something. no, she, she rides no <laughs> horse. She does no sports. And then they would usually go ahead and tell him everything is fine. So the last time they checked, everything was fine. But um, I just feel like this does not build trust between mm. you and your daughter. As much as you want to protect her, this is not the way to do it because... <laughs> Man, there are so many things you cannot imagine. It also show, goes to show that men, especially when they know what they have done with other women, they get so protective when they have a daughter. So this is a man that has, how many baby mamas again? I can't remember, I can't remember. You know, but I mean, this is a man that has a song. So why are you? Time. 
Why are you so protective? Are you trying to make sure your child does not become a baby mama or something? I don't know what his plan is. There was, even, there was this time he had he a can song. He can actually I slow can't... down and not affect her self-esteem. And for her to keep on liking other people's posts on this, especially the ones that are condemning the act, that it means, means that she feels some type of way about it. Although the way he narrated it, he made it seem like they are really cool with it. Like mm. after I drop off the gift and then she knows that the next thing is we're I going to be guided, you know, door. and we go there, we have a conversation with the doctor and you know, oh, she's intact and that's fine. But have you sat her down to talk to her about the responsibilities that come with actually being sexually active? Mm. Because being sexually active is not, like I said, it's not just about the penetration. There are mm. so many ways to be active without getting that done, right? So have you spoken to her? Have you talked to her about her self-worth? Have you spoken to her about values? Is it just about knowing that the hymen is intact for you? So I think he needs to ask himself a lot of these questions and get it right. And um, right. on this, it. sorry, um, if I, I, I also feel like that means it's just trying to tell um, his daughter that your value is in your virginity, mm. basically. And that's, I think that's the narrative we're trying to change now in the world, that a woman's value is not in her body. You cannot judge a woman because she's not a virgin or she is a virgin. I think it needs to, maybe him himself does not really understand this and he's just probably trying to be a good dad, mm. but does not have like proper knowledge of how to um, handle it. Handle it. Okay, it should probably to see a counselor, yeah. All right, so, um, First off, when I saw this, I lost a lot of respect for T.I. Because I think this is barbaric. I think this is inhumane. And I think this is a violation of privacy. And I think um, this is not good parenting in any way. Like you said, they're all of form of intimacy. And this girl will be suffering just because she wants to um, impress you making sure my hymen is intact. And then she's doing other stuff that would affect her later in the future. So I the really... other stuff are suffering. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. When I'm talking I'm about it, it's, it's, it's so okay. explicit I cannot say yeah. it on television. Okay. But I'm telling you that there are other places ways, that yeah. she can always get things done. Mm -hmm. And you won't even know anything about it. And then she will be the one to suffer the repercussion at the end of the day. So I think TI should be checked. And um, like um, the World Health Organization already said that, look, this is not right. Mm -hmm. So what is not right isn't right. So if TI is actually doing it, it needs to be spoken to. It needs to be sat down and reorientated mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it has no sense as far as I'm concerned. You brought up the son and the double standards, whether a man is, there's no way to check a man. Do you understand? No, it's not even about checking. Yeah. He does not have no any problem, problem with, with, with yeah. his son being sexually, sexually active. active at so 15. I think it's so very stupid for any father. It is better speak to your daughter. Let her make a decision at the end of the day. Now, I think some things are better learned with experience. Mm. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. But then she's out there and she gets that broken once or twice, she'll realize that, okay, it's not cool for me to just give it up to anybody. So you're going to check her eye men and all that. And then this is a very influential daughter. I mean, she's, she's the daughter of a very influential person, meaning she's getting some money. She can be bribing the doctors. And say, I, okay, apart just, from that, what, 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 what look, came to my head was, and then, no, if you on. find out that it's broken, what do you want to do? Hold on. Another thing is, <laughs> another thing, what do another you want thing to is do? even if such results is like, give me my results, it's not your result. It is not your body. It is not your eye man. So do not try to get somebody else. It's like me going to say, uh, I'm taking you guys for, uh, let's go and do HIV test. And then I'm saying, no, give me their result. Mm. Do you understand? That's the same way it sounds. Because you know, from what he explained, they actually sit there together, together. and then mm. she has to sign something to give him mm. the right. And then she does that and then they... Let, so, him, let him see. Yeah, and I think that is an um, invasion of a privacy. That's bullying and that is barbaric. So TI needs to be spoken to, called out, shamed, and if possible, stripped of all his awards for wow. this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Is that deep? No, no, no. Is that just deep? being a yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can be, you can the, be intention, the, the intention is right, yeah. but the way he's going about it is wrong. The intention he's just trying to protect right. his daughter. And do he also more of sex a education. Yeah, and my, pr my, my problem is... Do more of sex education. Work on your own self-esteem. Work on your own past. If you think, okay, because of the things I've done in the past, so I don't want my daughters to fall in the hands of guys like me. I think that's one of the Yeah, I think my point is... 
I don't, to be I don't like know. That. I don't know what is even trying to like put in her because at the end of the day, if you have a daughter that a teenage daughter um, that you're telling don't do this, but you have a teenager son that you're telling it's okay, you can do whatever you want to do with another teenage daughter. Don't. How do you want your daughter to feel about that? And how do you I want mean, your parents? That means do you get. Girls that means other feel. girls can do that so that why don't you want me to do that i think the best way is sit both um, girls and boys down and let them know that teach them values that you want them to have don't mm. pick a side